Hello again, I am Blunty. Now, I get asked a lot about fisheye lenses. Now, in general, I don't like fisheye lenses. I don't like the aesthetic. I don't like the way they distort the image. I don't like the way they make people look in general. I don't like the way they bend around the edges. I do like wide-angle lenses to a point. They are very, very useful things, particularly doing what I do. But fish eyes, I've never had much of a taste for. But despite that distaste, I actually did buy one. This little guy from a website. When I was making another bigger order, it was just sitting there. I spotted it and I went, eh, why not? I'll pick it up as well. Have a bit of a play. It's a 15mm magnetically attachable 180 degree wide angle fish eye lens designed for mobile phones and pocket video cameras. It's a cheapo Chinese thing. The model number is FE12, which is meaningless. I picked it up from a site called Deal Extreme for about $16, and it comes with all you see here. The lens itself, of course, a lens cap for the front, a lens cap for the back that attaches to the magnetic mount, and two little washers with adhesive on one side for you to mount around the lens on your camera, which this lens magnetically latches onto. Frankly, I really didn't want to have the washer stuck on my iPhone all the time, so I stuck it to one of my cases instead. The adhesive on the washer didn't really inspire me with its strength, so I put a few dabs of superglue on there too. And to my great surprise, unlike a few other similar lenses I've played with or seen sample footage from on YouTube videos, this one actually performed well above what I was expecting. In general, it was sharp and clear, retaining much of the image quality across the frame in video mode, but due to the fact that the iPhone 4 actually uses a cropped portion of the image sensor for video and the whole sensor for stills, there is a stark difference between the two with this lens. On the iPhone 4, photo mode uses much more of the lens, so you get a big fistful of severe vignetting at the edges. And the barrel distortion inherent to super wide lenses becomes impossible to ignore. However, once you get used to how and where this little lens bends reality around itself, you can start planning for it in shots and use the distortion to your advantage to enhance the drama and visual interest in what may have otherwise been a rather boring shot. It's at this point I have to admit, despite my decade-long distaste for fisheye lenses and their nasty-looking distortion in general, I did find myself having fun with this little guy. It's not for every shot, obviously. In fact, sometimes it'll just make stuff look bloody awful. But when you get it right, there are interesting images to be captured. I was pleasantly surprised by how it performed when taking close-up macro shots. In some cases, I could focus on subjects that were literally touching the edge of the lens. Something else to keep in mind, too, is that wide-angle lenses are useful for more than just getting more stuff in the frame easier. You can use them to deliberately exaggerate the sensor's scale and perspective, too. The lens is very, very wide. The box claims 180 degrees. In practice, it's a bit less than that, but it's close enough. Here's an example of just how insanely wide it is. Same position, same angle. See how much of myself is there in the fisheye shot? Meanwhile, the little piggy who went to the market barely gets in the shot using the standard lens. But as quirky as it is in stills mode, it's actually pretty useful in video mode. Now, with fixed focal length lenses common on pocket cameras and mobile phones, the normal way to get more in your frame is to just step back. But that's not always safe or even physically possible. But a little snap-on wide-angle lens can allow an otherwise unfeasible composition to be captured. As you can see here, had I stepped back to try and get the same framing with the normal lens, I'd get a bloody wall in the way. So with this lens, impossible shots become simple. I did also test this lens with some other cameras, like a pocket cam, in this case my Sony Bloggy, both Sony Bloggy models as a matter of fact, and on the front-facing camera of the iPhone, and even the iSight camera on my Mac. All have different focal lengths and all worked pretty well with the fisheye lens, so I have no doubt it'll work just fine on a whole bunch of small lens shooters. Now it has to be said, if I was going out on a deliberate shoot with my iPhone 4, that is, I, I decide I want to take some video with the iPhone 4, or take some photos with the iPhone 4, I gather up all my stuff in a bag and head out the door with shooting on the mind, I would take this, the Ali Booba, which I have reviewed in the past before, because despite letting me use much nicer wide-angle lenses, or any lens I really want to screw on there, it has the ability to put on microphones and lights and mount it to a tripod and give me some stabilization, but you know, all that's in the review. That is what I would take with me, but... This thing is kind of heavy, 
It's fairly bulky. You can't put it in your bag without noticing it's there, really. And it doesn't go with me everywhere. But this wee bastard is tiny. It's itty bitty. It's wee. And it weighs practically nothing, which means I can pop it in a little pocket of my bag that goes with me most days, and I'll never even notice it's there until I need it. And that is where the old photographer's adage comes in. The very best camera equipment in the world is the stuff you have with you when you need it. Because there's no point owning the most fantastically high quality equipment if it's, you know, big and bulky and you don't take it with you everywhere and sometimes you'll miss something. That equipment is great when you're doing a deliberate shoot, but, you know, any photographer out there, any video videographer out there will have a camera with them on them all the time. Lots of us use the iPhone 4 for that because it's a fantastic camera, but having something like this just sitting in our pocket or in our bag all the time just gives you that little bit more flexibility. And, you know, skateboarders, and like, love them too. You can't watch a single friggin' video about skateboarding with a fisheye lens everywhere, and they're usually hideous. But, you know, they serve their purpose. Thanks for watching. I am Blunty, and I will catch you next time.